What is up, guys? We are here with Akata Media Special. This is my first mock draft this year. Now, I know this mock draft. It's not going to be anywhere near what's going to actually happen in the draft. I'm not doing any trades for this one. I'm just going to go through for each team and see what makes the most sense, in my opinion, for who goes where. Um, let's start it off. First off, Bears. The reality, the Bears are going to trade this pick. The Bears will not have this pick in the end. Um, I, I see, but the way I see it right now, the best player on the board for the Bears would be Will Anderson. I think he's the best player in this draft. You got the two quarterbacks, uh, but Will Anderson, just absolute dominant, dominant edge player. Uh, him or Jalen Carter will go on. Uh, and if the Bears keep the first overall pick, which if they were smart, they would trade that. Or if they don't, if they're not in love with Justin Fields, which they should be. Then they can go with one of the top two quarterbacks here, which we don't know if C.J. Stroud's really going to come out or not yet for this draft. I'm going to keep him in here. For the second overall pick, I got Bryce Young going to the Texans. The Texans need that star quarterback. Bryce Young is him. Bryce Young will be him. That's the right pick there. Um, Third overall pick here for the Cardinals. You could go Miles Murphy. Dominant edge player, but Jalen Carter is the second best player in this draft. He will be going number three overall. That's who I got going three. Fourth overall pick. If this winds up staying the way it is, CJ Stroud is going right here. They need a quarterback. They've been going through quarterback problems. He will go there. Number five. Now this pick is interesting. This pick is really interesting because they could keep, they could continue to go with Geno Smith or they could draft a guy like Anthony Richardson. They could draft a guy like Will Levis. But what I think they're going to do here is they're going to go after and get a dominant defensive player to help out. The dominant defensive player they drafted last year in Tariq Woolen, they're going to draft Miles Murphy, the edge. Six overall pick here. This is interesting as well for the Lions. Jared Goff, not terrible. I think Jared Goff is a perfect bridge quarterback to Anthony Richardson. Now, I think Will Levis right now is probably a better player. But as a bridge player, Anthony Richardson's got the size. He's got the, he's got the speed. He's got the arm. He's got everything you would want in a quarterback. He just needs to polish things up. He's a very raw prospect, but you get him number six overall. I think that's the right move there for the Lions at six. So for the seventh overall pick, and again, this is another interesting situation for the Raiders. You got Quinton Johnson here. You got Paris, Paris Johnson. You got Jordan Addison, Noah Sewell. I've got the Raiders going quarterback here too. The Raiders, obviously, Derek Carr is gone. What is? What are they going to get for Derek Carr? I don't know. Will Levis will go there. Um, and I, I'm not huge on Will Levis, but he's going to be a top 10 pick. I don't think he's going to be a great quarterback. I don't think he, I think he's going to be fine. I don't think he's Zach Wilson like everybody says he's going to be. But I think Will Levis is a top 10 pick. Book it. At eight, I mean, they got a lot of needs here. You look, you look at you look at the Falcons here. QB, wide receiver, edge, corner, guard. You go best available. And I'm not huge on Quentin Johnston. I'm not huge on wide receivers from TCU whatsoever. You guys know my thoughts on Jalen Rager. Um, I, I think they go right here, corner, Kaylee Ringo. I think that's the best pick for them right there. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. Number nine, we got the Carolina Panthers. Their needs are QB, guard, linebacker, corner, wide receiver. I think they do go wide receiver here. Um, but uh, I just don't like any. I think Jackson Smith is the best wide receiver in this draft class. I really do. I still have him with my number one wide receiver. I know the P that this mock draft simulator – Puts it all over the place. I think Smith is the best wide receiver in this draft class. I think that's where he goes right there at nine. At 10, you got the Eagles. 
couple different ways the Eagles can go here for sure. They can go corner. They can go potentially linebacker. They can go D tackle. They can go running back. They can go edge. And I think they're going to go edge here. And I like Tyree Wilson a lot. I would be more than happy with Tyree Wilson to the Eagles with this pick. And I think that's where he's going to go. 11. You got the Titans. I mean, the Titans got a lot of needs too. Tackle, uh, center, wide receiver, guard, edge. They're going with a tackle here. They're getting the best tackle in the draft, according to this list right here. Um, obviously, these rankings are going to change so much for these next couple of weeks. You still got the combine to go. Like, Paris Johnson's going there for now. Here we got the Texans. Again, they drafted Bryce Young already. They still got needs. Guard, wide receiver, center. They're going wide receiver here. And they're going the local guy to them, Quentin Johnston. I think he's 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 I'm not high on him, but he's going to get drafted pretty high. So I have him going there. The Jets. Jets need a guard, safety, corner, edge, D tackle. Let's go Brian Breeze. I think Brian Breeze is a little underrated on this list as well. Um, I think I think he he may be a top 10 pick as well. So I think him going there makes some sense. So, 14 now. We move on to the Patriots. Patriots need a wide receiver. They've needed one for years. A corner, a linebacker, edge, D-tackle. It's like a lot of similar needs. Um, let's see. What, what, let's go Noah Soul here from Oregon. I think it makes sense for them. They need a linebacker. Go for it. Not even going to even look at the Green Bay Packers needs here. They need a wide receiver. They've needed one for years. Christian Watson was a decent pick for them last year. Go out and get Jordan Addison. There you go. Washington football team. That's what their needs are. Quarterback, corner. Yep, corner. There you go. Joey Porter Jr. makes a whole lot of sense there. Um, I like Joey Porter Jr. I'm not as hyped on him as being a Penn State fan. I've watched Joey Porter Jr. play a lot. He gets really handsy. So a lot of penalties called on him. And that will probably be even worse in the NFL because they just don't let you get away with much. But he's going to develop into a good player. He's still pretty young. Uh, Joey Porter Jr. has been starting since his freshman year at a Big Ten school. He'll be fine. So him to Washington there at 16 makes sense, which I'm sure the Steelers are kicking themselves on because I'm sure they would have loved him. Um, looking over at the Steelers' needs here, center, tackle, edge, corner. I don't know why they need a quarterback. They just took one. Um, let's go with Cam Smith here. I think actually – Go Christian Gonzalez, just, just to mix things up. Um, they do need a corner. They'll get a corner. Lions, did we already have Lions pick? Lions took a quarterback already. What else do the Lions need? Decent amount. Corner. I think they do go corner. They'll go, go, uh, do we give them Cam Smith or do we give them, do they need a safety? They do need a safety. They need D tackle. Why is linebacker on their list? Because he's slipping a little bit. Guards, I don't really see many guards on here. You know, the one where they could go, they just traded Hawkinson. Michael Meyer may make some sense here. But let's give him Cam Smith. Let's give him the corner. Um, the Buccaneers now are up on the clock. What do the Buccaneers need? Obviously, it's going to be an interesting offseason to see. Are they going to keep Tom Brady? Is Tom Brady going to stay? Who knows? Edge rusher. Like I said, I don't really like the way these rankings are too much. I think Foskey has a really good shot of going top 20. And I think he goes, he can go there. Seahawks up again. They took Miles Murphy already. What else do they need? According to this list, they need an edge, safety, guard, wide receiver, corner. Let's go with Brian Branch. There's their safety. Um, I haven't watched too much of Brian Branch, but safety from Alabama, you can pretty much trust Alabama players at this point. Jaguars. Let's go. Let's go with the wide receiver. Let's get Trevor Lawrence, the number one wide receiver. There you go. You got him. I like Boot a lot. I think Boot is going to be a really good player. Um, I think he's fallen off a little bit of a lot of boards, but I think he may rise up here come the Combine. The Giants, who had a sneaky season this year, are up. They do need a linebacker. I think Trenton Simpson fits right right there. There you go. Chargers. Tackle is on their board. 
that I think Skaronsky is one of the best tackles in the draft. Get him right there. Now, you got the Ravens, who the Ravens, this may be all over the place. Lamar, if Lamar goes, a whole bunch of things can happen. But let's see. Let's look at this. They need a corner as opposed to this. So I guess you go Clark Phillips here from, from Utah. I don't know too much about him, honestly. There's a little bit of this. I'm just going off their rankings. Um, Cowboys. Guard, running back. They don't need a running back. They have Pollard and Zeke. They're, they'll resign. They'll resign one of them. Um, corner, linebacker, receiver. I don't really see wide receiver being that much of a need. Gallup and Gallup and Lamb can can hold it on a little bit. Um, couldn't use some secondary help for sure, and maybe pairing up Diggs with another Alabama corner could work. Or you can go Osiris Torrance, Torrance here. I think they might do that. I think they'll go with Osiris Torrance there and make that pick. Now, the Bengals are up on the clock. Obviously, these back-end picks here may or may not be right. It's all pen- pending what happens in the playoffs. The Bengals need a corner and edge, a D-tackle guard. Don't know why running backs listed. Joe Mixon's still there. But let's see. Should we go guard here? What what do we have guard wise? Too far down. That's probably too far down. Potentially. Um, now I think safety is going to be a need for them because they were already talking about trading the one safety. Oh, what's his name? They're talking about trading the Eagles. I forget his name already, but we'll go to safety. Uh, he, he's he's a good safety. The guy that they're trying to, that they were talking about trading. I think they couldn't get a contract done with him. I think he's under a tag. It's not Justin Simmons. Um, Jesse Bates. That's it. Jesse Bates, the safety. I think he's probably gone. Uh, the Broncos are up here. Edge, linebacker, corner, D tackle, quarterback. You could put in there for sure. Uh, they're not going to go with the quarterback yet. But let's go, BJ Ozolari here. I think it makes some sense for them. Get get a uh, get an edge rusher in there. You can never go wrong with edge rushers. You can never have too many edge rushers. You just can't. Here we go. Vikings. Vikings could go quarterback. Wide receiver. Tight end. They just got Hawkinson. I don't know why they go tight end. Corner, edge, linebacker. Go Eli Rex here. Another Alabama corner. Alabama corners are pretty safe. Here we go with the Bills. It's going to be interesting. Running back is a need for them. He's going here. B. John Robinson. Give him, give him to him. Uh, Josh Allen gets another weapon. Why not? Why not? Chiefs with the 30th pick. What are their needs? According to this is edge, corner, D-tackle, tackle, wide receiver. Should we go off the tackle? Let's go D-tackle. Let's go give him... Gervin Dexter from Florida. Here's the Philadelphia Eagles with the pick at 31. Their, their, their first pick, they went with an edge. This pick, what do we want to go with? The usual guys I take are not really here. I do like Jordan Battle, Battle a lot from Bama. Um, I would like a safety like him if they don't sign Epps and they don't sign or they don't sign Chauncey Gardner Johnson. It's it's going to be an interesting situation here with the Eagles because they have so much on defense they have to resign. But they're not going to go tight end. They're not going to go quarterback. They could go linebacker. So let's give them Henry Toe Toe here. Um, I'm not sure if that's really going to happen or not, but there you go. There is my mock draft, the first one I've done. Let's click on full results real quick so you guys can see what we really went through. Um, I will be doing a lot more of these. Obviously, this one was off the top. I did not really do any research for this. Just wanted to give you guys some content here. I like the way I did. I like the way it turned out. Um, there's a couple guys like there's some of these guys are going to shoot up boards. Like 
Boot, if he has a good combine, he's going to shoot up. He's going to be up here. Same thing with Jack. Well, Jackson, I kind of reached on. But Quentin Johnson, I feel like he may be a guy who shoots down. Joey Porter's a guy who could shoot up. I mean, you got some guys here that could shoot up, um, up these boards. Skoronsky could shoot up for sure. Um, so, yeah, that that's my first mock draft of the year. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you, guys. Kind of hot. Peace and out. Have a nice day. If you don't.